Petrol electric engine would give you even more breakthrough. It would also absolutely destroy your reliability. Minus 50. Ugh. Nah. We'll go ahead and upgrade you. We'll bring in the Mark II. I don't think they're faceless. Well, I mean, you could get the radio upgrade. Yeah. We're now going into the faceless Mark Three. Save. How's the plane situation? Minus 1.4k, so we've got another 100 up. In the meantime... Just loving seeing this. It's like America. Just build everything. Okay. <laughs> yes, boss. You're still missing 80 Vascos. You've got 20 currently available. Huh. <sighs> we'll roll them out eventually. Probably some point in like 1944. It probably is. Well, actually... What I'd probably do is just train another 24 steel Cossacks. Bring in another cavalry force, because we do have another cavalry general. Be a shame not to use him. Huzzah! Oh, so you can go full on the church, right? Romanov on the one side and the patriarchs on the other. Uh, the other side's the fascists. I don't know exactly how that's done, though. That was here. And the only real difference is you get... I think as the Tsars you get this bit, and as the Fascists you get just this bit. Oh no, it's this bit. I don't think it's the church, it's just the fascists. Huzzah! Oh, thank you very much for the 12 month resubscription. That is, if my math is correct, one whole year. And what that means is you get those golden wings. Heck yeah! Thanks very much for the ongoing support there, Ma. We have another hype train. It's the third one today. Madness. Thank you very much for your support, everyone. Really do appreciate that. First round, thank you very much for the 16 month. Primary subscription, very much appreciate the ongoing support there. And Death or Glory coming in with a four-month primary sub. Thank you also for that as well. Sandrock coming in with 500 bits. Thank you very much for that too. You guys are awesome. Man, I've been going for almost 10 hours already. Ah, madness. Cool Sign Slinky has Huzzah. gifted some subs. Thank you very much for that. Cool Sign Slinky, Flying Muttley, Van Sony, Smoke Cats. Lord Deathhand and Aussie Mate. Congratulations on the gifted subs. Courtesy Huzzah. of course, and Slinky. Thank you very much for that, Slinky. Very good of you. Oh, we can get another Doctrine. We probably should. Huzzah! You know what? With what we're doing, we probably should research rocket launchers. Once we've got the advanced light tank chassis, we may research some rockets. Huzzah! And Kalinicus also showing the generosity Huzzah. today as well. Thank you very much for that, Kalinicus. I did see uh, Sandrock's bits. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, agent number one, NZSC, Huzzah. Dolphin, Canadian Pagan, and Grumpy Tiger. 
Congratulations on the gift of subs, courtesy of Kalinicus. Kalinicus, thank you very much for that. Kachusha when? I mean, maybe. Have some Kachusha supporting the attacks of the uh, the medium tank units. Well, looks like we were under attack up here in the north. The Germans seem to be doing a bit of a desperate attack here. They've lost almost four million. They've still lost less than a million. <laughs> just. Only just. Yellow air. Two places. Alright, we can deploy another army. Huzzah! Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and deploy these guys, because these we're going to deploy and reinforce him. And then we're going to bring in another full army. Which is these guys. Should we deploy? Which we'll put under your command. And that's going to be under Konstantinov's purview. You're going to get Ambusher as well. And we're going to have you deploy over here to Turkey. Along with the Infantry. Now, I think I'm getting to the stage where I might be ready for just a giant attack. There's the light tank chassis. And we could upgrade our armor. No, we were going to start getting rockets. Let's start getting rockets. Rockets, rockets, rockets. Let's get the tier three or two. Rockets first. Then we can actually start making some. Turkey's being attacked from the south. I mean, Turkey tends to get attacked from everywhere. But yes, they are. Oh, and Kurdistan. All right. Still waiting for command power to regenerate. We have enough political power where we could do another thing soon. Which is probably going to be another military high command. Uh, hang on, so we've got infantry expert. What about having you as a tank expert? Or combined arms? Or artillery. Artillery requires Fortress Buster. Commando would be special forces. I mean, plus 20% attack and defense on those mountaineers would be pretty freaking deadly. I oh, know, the one chief of the army. It's, it's definitely one of these. I mean, you're an armor guy, so I think we'll probably take the armor specialist. It's, it's either that or the motorized. Armor, because we invest in the heavy tanks. So we're going to have you as the armor specialist, which we are then going to bring into the high command. Except we can't, because that costs command power! However, we can bring in another one of these, so we can have the Masses Opium, which is manpower. Nah. Patriarch of all of the Russias gives me the extra little bit of stability we would need. Or we can get the extra recruitable population. Sandrock, was that another 500 bits? Yes, it was. Oh, thank you very much for the second bits. Second bit of bits. <laughs> uh, Genbrad wants me to drink some tea. 
board to beers, Van Sonny and Cam Bam Jam. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. And we just hit a level three hype train. Thank you very much for all of the gifted subs and all of the bits that were contributed to that. Does artillery specialist actually work now? It should do. So they have changed the way, from what I understand, I have yet to see this confirmed, uh, the way that the army commanders work in that your unit doesn't have to be designated as an artillery unit in order to get the artillery bonus. It's any artillery companies that you have in that division will get the buff, which is a much better way of doing it because it means that being an artillery specialist actually will benefit a unit which may only have one artillery piece in it rather than like the four it would require because that just makes for some pretty bad templates. I'm actually kind of tempted to wait for you. So I think I will go for the armor specialist, which means waiting for the uh, command power. All right. After the capitulation of Italy, we are now the leader. There we go, I didn't need to spend the 200 political power. I just get it for free. The Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia is comprised of those exiles who, rather than abandon their beliefs and principles, elected to remain in exile. Not for much longer. I can say you attack, you attack. You can get cavalry specialist, which you already have. Alright, time to retake Turkey. How are we doing for tank shortages? We are down to just, just 900. And I would very much like to create a new light tank. Um, what I would like to do is have you designated... There, are there any bonuses we can get to, like, um, recon? Or does it require, like, level 3 recon? It might do. Logistics uses less fuel that way. Huh. Yeah, I'll show you the division templates in a minute. I'm trying to work out how to get better recon with my new tank chassis. I don't think I really care about the speed. Beefing up the amount of breakthrough, I think, would help, though. We could also make them a flamer support company. thing that gives the highest breakthrough. I know one of these does. Nope, they're all the same. Maybe whatever's the highest soft attack, which is going to be you. And then radio, for sure. And then special modules. Anything that gives breakthrough. Armor skirts. What's the highest? Stabilizer. Oh my god, really? Sure, three stabilizers.
Reliability of 7, max speed of 6. That's an incredibly slow light tank. Oh no, we got the wrong suspension. Uh, wait, do these not make... Oh, they're different types. Half track and wheel suspensions are just cheaper. Or we can have the tracked ones. Christy makes them faster. That gives more breakthrough. 60% reliability. I think what I might do is make one wet ammo storage. Or we just suck it up that it's a 60% reliability. It's going to be a small unit. It's a scout. Stabilizers increase breakthrough. Because I'm building this specifically to be a recon unit. And if it just buffs the breakthrough of any unit it joins, then that's good. I think it's... I don't think it's working as intended that you can have three stabilizers. That feels wrong. So we're going to put one wet storage. And we're going to put one... Put a dozer blade on there. That's going to increase the... Uh, Entrenchment of the units is attached to, too. And then this is going to be the <laughs> scout light tank. So what are we going to call you? You are going to be the... You know what? You can be the Kalinicus. Kalinicus. Mark 1. No special engine. No special armor. And yes, I would like to build some of those. We're going to need a lot of them, though. Kind of like them. How expensive were you again? 18. You're actually really freaking cheap. I mean, you are a light tank. It's an expensive light tank, put it that way. All right, what else can we build? There must be some other 100 percenters. There's one. Hey, Novgorod. I'll be purchasing some furs. And I think there's some over here. Nope. So 100 percenter. I might as well build it there. Otherwise, if I just... This is another region that's worth doing. So let's go build, 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 build. Build, 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 build. Build. There we go. We're up to 120 military factories. Germany, how many you got? 250, probably 260. Three times. Corsica's liking its back and forth thing. Meanwhile, the Italian fleet is still fighting on. Just need to make sure that we hold on to some ports for them. Oh, 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 that's that that's a problem. Uh wish no building some more. We're building cavalry. I think I would like to get another Infantry army going. What are we short on? Manpower? No. Guns. Yeah, we'll get them back soon enough. As long as we keep these ports, we can withdraw. But that is going to be something that we do need to keep an eye on. And how's the plane situation going? Faltering a little bit. Well, once you've got all of those done, let's go ahead and put another line of fighters in. Right. Uh, we are seriously running low on aluminium. Might not be able to afford the... Uh... Oops. Uh, 
You know what? No, go ahead and buy that. I'm not going to be able to afford the extra fighters. Okay, so we're going to cancel that, and we are instead going to start producing anti-air. And we're going to start thinking about applying those to our units, because we're going to have to. We don't have the aluminium for it. We have loads of steel, though. Steel's kind of what we do. I will definitely give you access. Do what you gotta do. I'm exporting a ton, am I? You mean exporting or importing? No, because I like export focus because it means I build stuff faster. And right now I am in a bit of a construction race with Germany. One I'm fairly confident I'm winning because my ridiculous consumer goods usage. Right, let's see if we can hold on to this whole thing. And you know what? We're going to put you entirely on this line. Because I don't trust Turkey holding on to that. And then I'm going to tell... You. Stop attacking. We'll need to wait until we get some support. You can at least hold on to what we've got. Of that, I'm confident. We've lost Istanbul. That's not good. And you also lost a couple of... Damn. Not near. At least have 13. You're down to just 10. Ah! I want those medium tanks! What, 25 in each? Yes. Might have to research ex excavation. Actually, that's a very good idea. I don't know why I always forget about excavation tax. Probably because I just have them on such a low priority early on. Oh dear. Dutch East Indies are dying rapidly, so we're about to lose our source of rubber too. Um, which I think makes it even more pressing that we don't focus too heavily on fighters. We, we can't anymore. So let's make sure that our AA is up to scratch. Let's make sure I'm not being invaded in Siberia. Because... That's a thing that could happen. Why is Japan there, volunteers? Alright, guys could be a little bit better off if you went there, right? Instead of facing off against people who are ostensibly on our side. Just saying. broke the cipher again, that's okay. Because what we're going to do now is... Ministry of Motor Armament. The humble mortar is quickly becoming the main form of indirect fire support for our units. We must therefore endeavour to produce as many mortars of all sizes as possible and to form a government agency whose only purpose it is to do that. Uh, that's true. Thank you. Right, let's have you attached to them, let's have you attached to them. 
Let's have you two destroy that. And I don't know why I hadn't quite grokked that that would have let me build just one line, but it does indeed. Okay. We're in the situation where we need lots of guns again, but I think that's mostly just because I've ordered another 24 stack of infantry. It is definitely because I've ordered another 24 stack of infantry. Germany, meanwhile, has lost 4.2 million. Italy got more participation than I did. I guess it's because I haven't really started attacking yet. I'm doing what Russia does best and just hold, 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 you sods. Hold. Uh, let's that. Actually, I think those four are pretty much dead. Three. Communist America just declared war on Italy. Bit late there, guys. Alright, we'll have to just replace those. Build me another four infantry. We kind of knew that this was going to be a death pit. I just hadn't checked it for a while. You guys are still being pushed back? Really? Now I'm really am beginning to think this is going to be a natural cut off. Because it probably is. Kurdistan's capitulated. Uh, none of my troops should be in trouble because of that. As long as Ankara doesn't fall, we hold on to Turkey. Um, no, I don't want you attacking anymore. Just just hold on to what we've got. Because unfortunately, Britain's going to just come in through the Middle East at this point. Like, we're holding against everything coming from Africa. With that one army. So we're probably going to need a second one out there, which is what I guess these guys are going to do. Um, what is your weight? That's not you. Steel Cossacks. Supply use, 172. Supply use, 0.78. So infantry will still be better out there. Although, to be fair, having those divisions fighting in the desert is probably still going to be good. I can't believe the Germans are actually pushing me here. After how long have we been holding out? Ah, we can now also get the Anastasi. 1% more manpower. Not infantry 2. December 42, so we can probably start thinking more earnestly about the 43 techs like you. Also, we do need to do that. That's true. Alright, seriously, guys, how are we doing for. Those tanks. I really need them. Hurry up! Oh, you're short on tungsten now. Uh huh. Actually, that's okay. We'll buy it from Sweden. Probably the safer choice. And our aluminium supplies are just gone. So any chance we had of holding out in terms of Aircraft production is is dead. We're not going to be able to. So we are instead going to be focusing on AA and medium tanks. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot more of them. Alright, some more tungsten. Tungsten we can import. And happily import that. 
And you know what, for any aluminium we do have, I'm not going to waste it. Let's see if we can get another small bunch, small batch. Need rubber though. And that is a little bit more of a problem. Sneaky Stalin. See you, Faceless. Non-aggression, yes. Uh, that's against the Americans. No, I'll do it. Sure. And on that note, I'm going to say... Thank you very much for watching. I have now been streaming for 10 hours without any breaks. So I've had enough and I'm going to stop. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do remember to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in the future, especially if you want to see the inevitable Russian counterattack, because I promise you it is coming. We are just waiting for our medium tanks to get into sufficient numbers where we can then begin to do that. And hopefully it's not going to be a complete disaster. If you have really enjoyed this and you want to support the channel and everything that we do here, then please do consider subscribing. It does help the channel out. Or you can, of course, check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. I do have a YouTube channel where you can find lots of other Hearts of Iron content. You can find that at youtube.com slash Viking. This series will also be uploaded there as well, possibly starting tomorrow, depending on whether I can get it off in time. Otherwise, soon, TM. Um, I am supposed to be streaming again tomorrow. That is the plan, kicking off at 5 p.m., GMT. However, I have a dentist appointment before then, so I might not be precisely on time, so stay tuned to Discord. I will try to keep you updated as to precisely when I will be jumping in. Uh, we should definitely raid somebody. Let's go and see who is streaming at the moment. And we will go and do that. But yes, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've been enjoying this so far. Commander would certainly seem to be a good choice. Very good hearts fine player, lovely all-round chap. So head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking. I'd love to see his channel absolutely lit up by the Viking Raid, which you can do by copying and pasting Viking Raid just like this. Or if you're a subscriber and you have access to the longships, you can bring those along instead with that. But bear in mind that will only work if you're a subscriber. Contrarian Canadian and Acturified, thank you very much for the follows. Kemen Mandea wants me to drink some tea. Let's do so. So yeah, until tomorrow everyone, 5pm or thereabouts, we'll play some more and see where we can get to with Russia. Bye bye.